Hey y'all, and welcome to The Science of Simple Machines. My name is Martin Malelu, and I am a MAKEMA librarian with LA County Library. Today, we're going to talk about simple machines, and then we're going to create some simple machines of our own. A simple machine is a tool that makes work easier. Work is defined as the force used to move an object. While simple machines do not reduce the amount of force needed to move an object, they do spread the amount of force needed to move an object over a longer area or distance. The idea of work will become clearer as we discuss how simple machines function. There are six types of simple machines. They are the inclined plane, wheel and axle, lever, pulley, screw, and wedge. Today, we're going to focus on the wheel and axle. The wheel and axle is a widely used machine. It's likely you use it every day and don't even notice. The car, bus, scooter, bike, or unicycle you take to the library has wheels and axles. The shopping cart you push around the store has wheels and axles. Imagine if the bus didn't have wheels. It would take a lot of force to move it forward. It would take a long time to get to your destination. Using wheels and axles, the bus can get you to your destination with more ease. Let's try out a wheel and axle at home. You can see the car I've made here out of cardboard, glue, straws, modeling clay, and a paper towel roll has two sets of wheels and axles. This particular design took me a good amount of trial and error to get how I wanted it to be. While you can try to copy my car exactly, you can also try out a design of your own. I personally enjoy trying different things without following any directions. You do want to make sure all your wheels are the same size, the axles are in the center of the wheels, and that the wheels and axles both turn freely. Keep in mind the wheel and axle has to be used as a combination in order for it to be classified as a simple machine. Before we try out this car, let's see what happens when I try to push a paper towel roll without a wheel and axle in it. It didn't go very far, did it? Now let's try out the car with the axles and wheels. While I don't have a way to measure force, I'm going to try to use the same amount of force as I did before. This time, it went much further, didn't it? While there are factors beyond my control here, such as my completely normal inability to cut a perfect circle with scissors and the uneven floor surface, you can see that the car moves much further with the wheels and axles attached. Another thing about the wheel and axle is that they both have to be turning together. The force applied is to get the axles to rotate, which then makes the wheels turn. A wheel on a stationary axle is not a simple machine, nor is an axle on its own. What do you think would happen if we made the wheels bigger or smaller? How would that affect the distribution of force and movement of the car? Try different sizes and see what happens. I hope you all enjoyed the science of simple machines. Click the link in the description box for upcoming programs. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for easy access to new videos. Bye for now.